ready with me, so keep on watching. So first I'm gonna start off with my hair. I think I'm gonna curl it a little bit. But before I do it, I wanna go ahead and kind of fix the front part of my hair. All right, let's try that one more time. Okay, now once I've done that, I'm going to curl my hair in sections. I'm just going to put this up like that. I'm going to split my hair down the middle. And you want to make sure that you untangle your hair before you curl it. Okay. This is a curling iron that I'm using. It's from Hot Shot Tools. Um, I bought it at Sally's a few years ago. And I think that it looks good. So yeah. So there you go, that's how I curl my hair. Um, I'm gonna leave it just like this. I always tend to put some of it behind my ear. Now, I'm gonna start my makeup. So I always apply lotion on my face. I already did that. And I like to put on some chapstick. First, I'm gonna be applying the LA Colors Setting Spray. I know a lot of people, they put on the spray right after their makeup. Me, I do it before. I feel like that works for me. Um, it probably doesn't make sense, but Hey, I'm showing you how I do my makeup. So I'll spray it on my face. Then I'm going in with the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus in the color Golden Beige. And then I'm gonna be going in with the Ultimate Blending Brush by e.l.f. I love this brush. This is what I use to put on my foundation. Next, I'm gonna be applying the LA Colors Conceal It in the color yellow. And I'm gonna apply this right underneath my eye. Sometimes I'll use a brush or I'll use a sponge to blend in my concealer, but today I don't feel like doing that, so I'm gonna be using my finger. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Air Spun Loose Face Powder. I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm horrible when it comes to names. But it's in the color Translucent Extra Coverage. I like to apply this in my T-zone, anywhere where my face gets oily, because I do have oily skin, but we're in winter time, so it's not that bad. So I apply it right underneath my eyes around my eyelid and just to set the concealer on my forehead I am going to be applying the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless um, powder I love this powder um, and I'm using it in the color natural beige uh, 220 this is the one that I usually use um, in the winter and in the summertime obviously my routine does change a little bit depending on the product and depending on the color of my face and what's what works for my face and guys comment down below if you guys want to see a certain type of video if you guys want me to review anything um you know, give me some ideas of what types of um, what type of videos you guys want to see. I'm gonna do some contouring, so I'm using this palette, um, and I'm gonna be using this color and this color. 
So I'm going to start here around my cheeks. And then I'm going to go down here. Kind of like in a three. So see like this and like this. And go underneath the jawbone. And I like to do my temple. And my forehead. I feel like I have like a big forehead. So I like to go in on the sides just to make the forehead look smaller or the illusion that it looks smaller. Use the same brush to contour my nose. What I do is that I literally hold it like this. Then I'm gonna go back with the brush that I was using to apply the Maybelline face powder just to blend everything in. Next I'm applying the blush. I'm gonna be using the LA Colors blush um single blush in the color spice i've been using this one for years i love it i always go back to it the reason why is because it's not only just color but it has like highlight in it and it has like a little bit like of a, a glow when you apply it so in all honesty like you don't need to use highlight for this but even though i do And I love this color, like I feel like it goes perfect with my skin. And honestly guys, there are days that I'll just go like this. Just foundation, concealer, and some blush and lip gloss and just keep it going. Without even doing my eyebrows, like if I really just want to be like natural. Because I feel like it doesn't look bad. So next I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild... Um, highlighter in the golden flower crown so that's the color i think i bought it last year i use this a lot in the summer so i'm just gonna apply the highlight there a little bit on my nose next i'm gonna be doing um my eyebrows so i'm just gonna brush them up the color that I'm going to be using is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow. Um, it's going to be in the color Panther. This is the color. And this is the color that I use for my eyebrows. A little bit goes a long way. Just saying. To start off like light. So I'll start here like in the corner. And then work my way in. So then that way I know... where I need to form the eyebrow. Next, I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow. So today I'm gonna be using another LA Colors product. Um, this eyeshadow palette is nude. I'm gonna be using this brush and I'm gonna apply um, this color all over my eyelid. I'm going to use my eyelash curler. Next, I'm going to be applying my mascara. I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara in the color Very Black. I'm going to be using this little mirror because I really want to like get in there. So, but you guys, I think, can see me. I'll take this mascara and I'll also apply it on my eyelashes it, just to keep them like on my eyelashes. You guys heard me? My eyelashes. Yeah, this is my eyelashes, guys. Um, I'll apply the mascara on my eyebrows to um, make sure that they're in place. Gosh, I can't even talk. All right. And then I'm going to do the other eye guys when sometimes you're applying mascara and some of it gets on your eyelid 
I'm gonna show you how you guys can fix it. Take the same eyeshadow brush, same color, and I just go back and you just brush it. And you don't see it anymore. And with the mascara, I like to go in and like layer up. So I'll do probably like two layers. See, these are the faces that I made. <laughs> as far as lipstick goes, I usually go for a tint. Um, sometimes if I want to be a little extra, I'll apply, excuse me, lipstick, but I'm applying chapstick and I'm using a lip tint. I think this one's from uh, LA Colors, I think. I don't know, I'll find out. It for a while now. Now you see that. See? Just a little tint. So guys, that is my look for today, my everyday makeup and how I curled my hair. If you guys have any comments, please leave it down below. Um, you, you can also contact me on Instagram, on Snapchat. Um, if you guys have any ideas of well, what videos you want me to um, do, let me know. And until next time, guys, bye.